is gaming truly dying? They had to revert Fortnite to seven years ago for people to play it. Let that sink in, bro. They had to revert fucking Fortnite seven years back for people to play it. You understand? They, they're dropping old Call of Duty maps in their new game just so people play it. Like anyone who goes, oh man, are you here? hey man, the new Call of Duty is going to be sick. Yeah, because they're dropping an old fucking Call of Duty for you. They're dropping old maps for you. With all that being said, right, I do not think that gaming itself is really dying. I think that the companies that are on top are really dying. And not even dying. They're just getting, they're just doing the same stuff. They're just releasing the same stuff. They're releasing the old ba ba bangers. I did an interview with Peaked Panda on this, and he said that the next thing that's going to come out that's going to hit is going to be an indie game, and it was. It was Helldivers 2. That was like, the difference between Helldivers 1 and Helldivers 2 is astronomical. Like, it is a, like, an over the, the top down, like, strategy game versus a first, well, third person shooter is drastically different, okay? And and it hit, it, it hit hard and, and it hit well, right? But the games like Call of Duty, the games like Battlefield, like those games are all pretty much on the on the decline. The people that like to play them are the people that like to play with friends. Like it's an easy title. It's an easy game to play. And that's what people are going to keep playing if they like playing those things, right? Even if they don't like playing it. I played it for probably about five, six years even after I hated it, right? Even after I hated the franchise and I hated the game, I hated multiplayer, I hated everything about it, I still played it. Which is not healthy, by by the way. I don't recommend that. But at the end of the day, he's not he's wrong, but he's also right. Because he's wrong because gaming itself is not dying. The companies that are supporting gaming, or you could say the AAA studios that are holding up gaming right right now, are on the decline because they're just making the same things over and over again. I did not like for the fact that they're that they brought back new maps in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and yeah, and probably they're probably going to keep do, doing it for like the Black Ops re remakes or whatever else. It, because we asked for for this, we asked for that like 5 or 6 maybe 10 Call of Duties ago, right? Like we just wanted like a Modern Warfare 2 but like modern. We wanted a Modern Warfare 1 but modern. Like we wanted it just the same thing with the same maps or the same concept of maps. But, re, but redone, like graphically redone. But we didn't get that. We got like a whole brand new game that had different, you know, this this gunsmith and all the stuff we didn't ask for. And that's that's what pissed me off as as a as an older player. You know, older player, <laughs> you guys are old. Shut, shut up, all right? It is what it is, okay? And I think that's the reason why they went back to the old maps and whatever else is because older gamers like me or, again, which is pretty much their player base at this point, it's people from like 18 to like, 35 well uh, it's 40 we'll say 40 to 45 those are the people that are playing their games which the 30 now 27 to 45 are the people that played the original call of duties and really enjoyed them and has a lot and have a lot of nostalgia from them so that's the reason why they're remaking those titles because that's the people that are playing their games but we asked for that like five or six call of duties ago which is my point because why did they listen to us back then? That's why I kind of stopped really liking and playing Call of Duty, and now I'm just trying to find a different game that's got better graphics and that's got a better overall playtime.